Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Oh, so so. <laughs> How was your weekend? Igual que siempre. <laughs> ah, Igual pues. que siempre, durmiendo poquito. <laughs> no, pero este fin, sí, de, fin de semana sí ya tuvimos un poco más relajado. Ahí Así está. es, variable. Ahí mm -hmm. está. Qué bueno, qué bueno. Okay, everybody, be welcome once again. I'm going to start gordo, 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 the screen. Apagame esa luz. Okay, everybody, take a look at that. We're going to start. First thing, of course, we need to call the attendance list. Okay, primero la asistencia, ¿verdad? Vamos, acá está la lista. When you hear your name, please let me know you're here. Okay, let's begin. Uh, participants, there are 14 connected right now. Okay, Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexis Giovanni Ramos Rosales. Present teacher. Thank you. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Cecilio Antonio Cortés Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Consuelo Enriqueta Aquino de Salazar. Present teacher. Thank you. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Idalia Margarita García Cruz. Presente. Thank you. Isaac Adbonay Tobar. I'm here. Thank you. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you. Catherine Andreina Perez Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. José, perdón, Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. María Magdalena Méndez Méndez. Present. Thank you. Marina Amaya de Mata. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Marjorie Marilyn Martinez Grijalva. I'm here. Thank you. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez Rosales. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro Roque. Present. Thank you. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present. Thank you. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez Benítez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. Present. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Stephanie 
Brenda Lee Vázquez Méndez. I'm here to help. Thank you. Ok. Nuevamente, aquellos que no me han contestado, los llamaré por si se hubiesen unido a la reunión en lo que pasábamos lista. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Thank you. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo Flores. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Luis Enrique. Okay. Thank you. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Luis Josué Valle Hernández. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Ok. Seremos asistencia al final nuevamente. So, everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Preintermedio, módulo 1. And that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service once again. This is session number five, and today is May the 29th of 2023. Luis Enrique, dígame. Hello, teacher. Good night. And I just want to uh, make sure if you hear me when I say uh, I'm here. Yes, I did. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Good evening. Okay, so Luis Enrique Palma Alvarado. Ahí está ya su asistencia. Yes. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is session number not five, and this is May the 29th of 2023. Everybody, welcome once again. So what are we going to do here? This is session number, section three, sorry. So what are you going to do here? How much is it? There's the snapshot, okay, snapshot. The meaning of colors in the United States, okay? So it's the significado de los colores, al menos en Estados Unidos. Luis Josué Valle Hernández dice presente. Luis Josué. Aquí está. Thank you, Luis Josué. So this is the meaning of colors in the United States. So you have the first one. Yellow, it means happy, apparently. Okay. Orange, it means fun. Red is exciting. Pink, loving. Purple, mysterious. Brown, friendly. Black, sad. Gray, boring. White, pure. Blue, truthful. And green, jealous. Por eso dicen verde de la envidia. Okay, green is jealous. So, do you have any questions about this vocabulary? ¿Tienen alguna duda acerca del vocabulario? If you have a question, it's a good moment to ask. Si tienen una pregunta, es un buen momento para hacerla. Miguel Antonio. And blue, truthful. ¿Qué significa? Disculpe. Truthful. A person who tells the truth. Una persona que dice la verdad. An honest person. Okay, that's truthful. Thank you. Uh, Marina okay, Maya. Ian Gray. Boring. Gray. Boring. Aburrido. Right? That's the meaning of boring. Aburrido. Yeah, that's the meaning of that. Gray is boring. Any other questions about the vocabulary? Marjorie Marilyn. Eh, eh, que está en green. 
eh, si me ayuda con lo que significa la pronunciación. Ok, jealous. Ok, jealous means celoso o envidioso también. Okay. Más que todo celoso o celosa. Ok, jealous. Mm -hmm. Gracias. You're welcome. Ok. Any other questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Or the pronunciation? Nothing? Ok, here you go. So the question is... Which words have a positive meaning? Which words have a negative meaning? ¿Qué palabras tienen un significado posit positivo y cuáles tienen uno negativo? For example, if you say, you say happy, is that positive or negative? Raise your hand. Positive or negative? ¿Será positivo o negativo? Luis Enrique. That is positive. That's positive. Okay. What about fun? What about fun? Uh, Miguel Antonio. Positive. It's positive. Very good. Okay, nice, nice. Siempre recuerden cuando la participación ya concluyó, bajar la manita para que no se me acumulen acá. Después ya no miro los nuevos. Thank you. Uh, exciting. Is that positive or negative? What do you think? Raise your hand. About exciting. Isaac Munay. That is positive. It is positive. Something exciting is positive. Very good. What is the meaning of exciting? Exciting is emocionante, right? That's the meaning. It's exciting, it's emocionante. Marjorie Marilyn. What about the next one? Loving. Is it positive or negative? Pink, loving. Loving. Uh, positive. It's positive, okay? It's como afectuoso, okay? Loving. Very good, thank you. What about the next one? Purple, mysterious. Mysterious, is that positive or negative? Can you tell me? Difficult to say, okay? Mysterious is neither positive nor negative. No es ni positivo ni negativo, si ustedes lo piensan, ¿verdad? No es algo malo, pero tampoco algo bueno. Okay, mysterious is misterioso. Okay, what about the next, Miguel Antonio? Una, I have a question. What's um, your question. ¿Cuál sería el término como intermedio cuando no es positivo ni es negativo? Neutral. ¿Cómo sería? Disculpe. Neutral. 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 Mm -hmm. Neutral. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. The word is neutral. Okay, Maria Magdalena. The next one is brown, friendly. Is friendly positive or negative? Positive. It's positive, definitely. ¿verdad? Amigable o amistoso. That's friendly. Thank you, Maria Magdalena. What about the next one? Black means sad. Okay. Marina Amaya, is that positive or negative? Uh, microphone, please. It's negative. It is negative, sad. definitely. Okay, sad is negative. Triste, verdad? Thank you, Maria, Marina Amaya. Okay, uh, what about the next one? Boring, from great, boring. Is that positive or is that negative? Catherine, Andreina, and then Juan Antonio, Brand. Uh, me, Catherine. Yes, yes. Uh, great, boring. Mm -hmm. It's yes. negative. Boring, yeah, it's negative. Algo malo, ¿verdad? It's a boring, it's aburrido. So, okay, so, yeah, that's correct. Thank you, Catherine. The next one, okay, Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Pure, is that positive or negative? I think it is positive. Yeah, it's positive, pure, okay? Not contaminated. So, yeah, that's pure. Thank you, Juan Antonio Brand. And the last two, you have truthful. What about truthful? Is that positive or negative? Who can tell me? Is that positive or is that negative? Truthful. Maria Magdalena, and then Miguel Antonio. Positive. It is positive, definitely. 
truthful is positive, okay? And the last one, Miguel Antonio, jealous. Is that positive or negative? Negative. It is negative. Okay, very good. Aunque, verdad, un poquitito de celos, lo normal es, es saludable, digo yo. ¿verdad? Si no, como que no le importa a la otra persona tampoco, ¿verdad? le da igual. No, okay, un poquito. It's normal. It's, 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 it's healthy, okay? But being very jealous, no, that's not good. Okay. Tell me, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm going to write this here. On a scale from 1 to 10, okay, how jealous are you? Okay, that's a question. On a scale from 1 to 10, how jealous are you? Volunteers, quien me dice? Okay. Tell me, on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 will be, well, probably not even 1, 0. Okay, 0 to 10. 0 means nothing, not jealous. 10, very, very jealous. Okay, so on a scale from 1 to 10, how jealous are you? Who can tell me? Katrin Andreina, how jealous are you? <laughs> okay. I'm very, very yellow. Oh my uh, God. 10. <laughs> 10. Oh my God. 11. <laughs> no. Okay. 10. Okay. Thank you, Catherine. Juan Antonio Bran, how jealous are you? Oh, the yellow. Hmm? How jealous? Oh. How jealous? Yeah, I know. Well, jealous. Okay. I think uh, we need a. Uh, uh, about three or four uh, three or four yellows. okay yeah i know okay 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 thank you uh -huh. not antonio? too much not too much okay that's good miguel antonio rodriguez how jealous are you on a scale from I, one to ten i jealous um level five five so so okay all right okay good one more person how jealous are you on a scale from one to ten or zero to ten Isaac, and then Maria Magdalena. All right. Um, my scala is um, seven. Seven. Okay. Yeah. You are jealous. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Maria Magdalena, how jealous are you? I jealous. It's seven. Okay. You are a number seven in the jealousy scale. Okay. You are jealous, a jealous person. Okay. Marjorie Marilyn, how jealous are you? I am jealous and eight, no much. Eight. Eight, eight is very jealous. Okay, it's high on the no scale. Much. Not much, <laughs> no, not much is three or four. Okay, eight is very high on the scale. Okay, <laughs> thank you. All right, in my case, probably three, I believe. Not very jealous. In the past, six. <laughs> in the present, three. Okay. Feels good. All right. Everybody, thank you for your participation. Let's continue. Okay, lesson objective. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. In esta clase, los participantes escucharán una conversación sobre pronombres demonstrativos mientras las personas van de compras. So what is that all about? Here's the conversation. They're perfect for you. I want you to listen and read at the same time. Here we go. Me avisan si se escucha. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. Could you hear that? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, from the beginning. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Oh, okay. So page uh, 16, whoops. exercise two. All right. Um, 
let's see. Okay. So uh, there's a conversation. They're perfect for you. Okay. So there's a conversation between Steve and Maria. Okay. I need two volunteers to read it, please. One. Okay. Marjorie, you read Maria's part. And now a man, please, a gentleman to read Steve's part. Un caballero que nos ayude por acá, por favor. Yo, yo, yo quiero. Yo, yo, ¿quién es yo, yo? Ok, Noé es aquí. All right, Noé. Noé and Marjorie Marlin. Ok, so Noé, you read Steve's part. And Marjorie, help me read Maria's part, please. Escucho de todo menos la voz de alguien. Ok, ajá. Steven. Yes. Uh, look at look at those children. Maria, they are perfect for you. These red ones, I'm not sure. Veamos ahí la yeah. entonación. Sería these red ones. It's a question, right? These red ones. These red ones. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. No. Uh, the yellow ones. The yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That's blue one, right? There. How much is it? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me read for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Yeah, thank you, Marjorie and Noe. Okay. So uh Catherine Andreina, do you have a question? Yes. What does necklace mean? You see the necklace is right here. These are the necklaces. You put them around your neck. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a necklace. Collar. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, Noé Ezequiel, do you have a question? Sí, este, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Creo que dice en, eh, en la primera fila, dice. No Look at those dice, earrings. 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 No, earrings. Earrings. Son el, ah. Mm -hmm. The earrings. Ah. Y quiero también. The no earrings sé cómo right here. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. este, y también está en la parte de. En primera, segunda, tercera, en la cuarta parte donde dice, well, that, y sale a la frase, no sé qué. That necklace, that necklace isn't bad. ¿Qué significa esa palabra? Necklace, collar. ¿Sí? Collar también. Mm -hmm. ¿Y lo de arriba? Aritos. Aritos, collar. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. The earrings bueno, son los aritos o pendientes, ¿verdad? Y necklace son el collar. Ok, gracias. Ok, all right. María Magdalena. I have a question. What's your question? Eh, aritos pequeños y largos se dice igual. Igual, well, earrings. Yes. Earrings, okay. yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mariana, Marina, perdón, Amaya de Mata. Mariana. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, no, I'm tired, I'm tired. No, I can't read correctly. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you have a question? Eh, lo que decía el otro compañero en donde está Steve, well, mm -hmm. that, well that necklace isn't, isn't bad. Mm -hmm. Se traduce como, bueno, eh, ese collar no es malo. No está mal, más bien. No está mal. No está mal. Sí, porque malo no puede ser <ríe> un collar, no puede ser bueno ni malo. Más bien, eh, dice, that necklace isn't bad. Dice, este, 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 ese collar no está mal. Dice. Uh, ok. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. Ok, then. Let's continue. Lesson objective, everybody. Take a look. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns 
like this, these, that, and those to express possible choices. Al final de esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de usar pronombres demostrativos. Este, esta, estas, esto, estos, aquel, aquella, aquello, aquello, aquellos, para expresar posibles elecciones. It's not complicated. Take a look. So what is that? This is the grammar focus. Okay, demonstratives with one and once. You say, for example, how much is this necklace? This necklace. How much is that necklace? That necklace. You can say this one, or you can say, how much is this one? How much is that one? You say, which one? The blue one. Yes, Miguel. I have a question. What's your question? One, ¿qué es o cómo se traduce en la oración? Disculpe. El one. One, sí. Ok. One es un pronombre. Es un tipo de pronombre. Se utiliza para no repetir la palabra anterior. Por ejemplo, si usted está hablando de un necklace, ok, dice, how much is this necklace? Y usted le dice, fifteen dollars, ok. Y luego usted agarra otro y le vuelve a preguntar a la persona que le atiende, how much is this one? Vamos la palabra one para no repetir la palabra necklace. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Thank Esa you. Es la idea. Uh -huh. You're Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. So, how much are these earrings? These earrings. You can say, how much are these? ¿Cuánto valen estos? How much are those earrings? Esos, aritos. How much are those earrings? How much are those? ¿Cuánto valen esos? Say, which ones? Plural. ¿Cuáles? Okay, which ones? The yellow ones. Los amarillos. Okay. Lo mismo pasa acá con once. Vamos a ocupar once para no repetir la palabra earrings. Porque el interlocutor ya sabe que de eso estamos hablando. Así que no tiene mucho caso decir earrings, 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 earrings. Cada vez que uno pregunte porque suena repetitivo y redundante. Para eso se utilizan los pronombres one and once. So, which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. So prices, take a look at this. You say, for example, $42. That's easy, $42. But look at this. You can say $59.95. Just like that. Just like Spanish. In Spanish, you say $59.95, okay, to express the price. In English, it is a very similar process. You just say $59.95. Or if you want to be more specific, you can say $59 and... 95 cents if you want to be more specific but it's not absolutely necessary ahora bien Uy, give me a second that slide's not supposed to be there just a moment okay so what are we going to do here okay Ustedes saben, a mí me gusta dar un poquito más de lo que aparece en el material así que aquí les comparto esto Demonstratives, this, that, these, and those. How does this work? Look, this is singular. For example, she's asking you, do you like this picture? This picture. These is a plural, it's for plural nouns. These flowers are for you, okay? So when you say this picture, that means this picture here. You can hold the picture. You can touch the picture. So this picture here. If I say, for example, this is a mouse, I say this mouse. Why? Because I can hold it. I can touch it. Okay? I say this mouse. I have it in my hand. Okay? Pero si está algo lejos, entonces ya no se puede decir this. Now, look at this. Uh, remember, this is for singular nouns and these is for plural nouns. Now, there's a difference in pronunciation. And that's very important to know. Muy importante esta diferencia. Okay? You, you can repeat after me from your house. Pueden repetir después de mí desde la comunidad de su casa con el micrófono apagado para que no nos dé pena. 
para que no, no escuchemos todos al mismo tiempo. Ok. Repita conmigo. Ok. The first one is singular. This. 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 Ok. That's right. You say this. And the plural form is these. 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 That's the difference. Ok. Singular. This. 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 Plural. These. 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 That's the difference. This. These. This picture. These flowers. Do you like this picture? These flowers are for you. That's the difference in pronunciation between the singular form and the plural form. ¿Por qué le digo esto? Porque cuesta un poco, digamos, pronunciarlo de forma diferente, ¿verdad? Sobre todo cuando estamos aprendiendo el idioma, tendemos a pronunciar this, this. Pero no es así, ¿verdad? Uno es this, this, el sonido es e, e, this, y el otro, el plural es e, e, these. That's the difference right there. Now, what about the next part? That is singular. For example, he says, do you like that picture? Okay. When I say that, it's something that is far from me. Okay, Fra far from my reach. No lo alcanzo con la mano. I utilizo that. Para algo que está lejitos. Okay. O por lo menos más allá de mi alcance. So, do you like that picture? You can see this man. In the first example, she's asking you, do you like this picture? And she is touching the picture. She's holding the picture. But in this case, he says, do you like that picture? He is not touching the picture. He is not holding the picture. It's a little far from him. A little far away from him. There is a distance between the picture and this person. So that's why we use that. That's the demonstrative, that picture. But what about the plural? Those, those. You say, who are those people? ¿Quiénes son esas personas? Who are those people? The people are a few meters away. I can't touch the people. I can't hold the people. So I say those. In other words, this and these are used when the object is near, when you can touch it, when you can feel it. And that and those are for things that are far from us, things that we can't touch, things that we can't hold. That's the difference. And you can see it right here. That and those. You say that picture. That means that picture there. Esa foto que está allí, allí, ¿verdad? Those people. Those people there. Es esas personas que están por allá. Those people. Están lejitos. Por lo tanto, ocupamos those. Do you understand? Okay. All right, so for the next part, take a look. Now we use this, that, these, and those with a noun, like this picture, those girls, etc. Or without a noun. Se puede ocupar con un sustantivo o sin un sustantivo. For example, you say, this hotel is expensive, but it's nice. This is the demonstrative. Hotel is the noun. You say, this hotel is expensive, but it's nice. Now, the jealous girlfriend is asking you, who is that girl? Okay. And you say, I don't know. All right. So, who is that girl? ¿Quién es esa chica? Ustedes. I don't know. The next one is, do you like these shoes? I bought them last week. Those apples look nice. Can I have one? Now, this is what you do when you have a noun. This hotel, that girl, these shoes, 
those apples. So normally you can use this, that, these, or those with a noun, con un sustantivo. But also you can use them without a noun. Se pueden utilizar sin un sustantivo. Por ejemplo, usted dice, this is a nice hotel, but it's very expensive. If you notice, they don't say this hotel. They say, this is a nice hotel. Como que dijera usted, este es un hotel bonito, ¿verdad? Pero bien caro. So this is a nice hotel, but it's very expensive. If you notice here, the demonstrative is not followed by a noun. El demostrativo no va seguido, bueno, no, no le antecede, digamos, a un sustantivo. No necesariamente. You say, excuse me, is this your bag? Esta es su bolsa. Is this your bag? You say, oh, yes. Thank you. You can also say, who's that? ¿Quién es ese? ¿Quién es esa? Ok. Cuando sube la escala de celos a 15. Ok, so who's that? Who's that person? And you can also ask, which shoes do you like better? These or those? Ok. ¿Cuáles zapatos te gustan más? Estos o aquellos? O estos o esos? These or those? So again, you can use the demonstratives this, that, these, and those with a noun, like the examples from the first part, or without a noun, like the examples from the second part. It's your decision, but you have to make sure you sound logical. Okay? Let's do this. Now this, lo que nos preguntaba por acá el compañero Miguel. Okay, one and once. What is that? One for singular nouns. You say, for example, which one do you want? ¿Cuál quieres? O ¿Cuál quiere? Which one do you want? And he says, this one. ¿Por qué ocupamos la palabra one? Porque ambas personas que están hablando ya saben que están hablando sobre sombreros. Ya saben ellos que están hablando de sombreros. Es lo que llegaron a buscar. O a lo mejor el otro es el que atienden. No estoy seguro. Como ya sabemos, o ellos ya saben que están hablando de sombreros, ya no es necesario decir hat todo el tiempo. Solo dicen one. So when you say which one, that means which hat. One can be a hat, a car, a flower, a person, etc. For example, which car is yours? This one or that one? Okay. ¿Cuál carro es el tuyo? Este o aquel? Which car is yours? This one or that one? ¿Para qué decimos this one y that one? Para no decir this car or that car. It sounds repetitive and it sounds redundant. So we don't say it. Instead, we use one or once, which is very good. Now, look, once with an S is plural. For example, she's asking, which ones do you want? ¿Cuáles quiere? Which ones do you want? And he says the white ones. No le pregunta which flowers do you want porque ahí tiene las flores en la mano y obviamente a las flores se refiere. Ya los dos que están hablando saben que digamos en este caso se está hablando de flores. Así que en vez de decir which flowers do you want, simplemente se dice which ones do you want? And he says the white ones, las blancas. So which ones means which flowers? Ones can mean hats, cars, flowers, people, etc. So you use it with a plural noun. So which flowers do you want? These or those? You can also say these ones or those ones. Estas o aquellas. Okay. Do you have any questions about the vocabulary here? Or the use of one and ones for the topic in general? Do you have any questions? Alguna duda? Pregunta, consulta? Es un buen momento para abordarlo. No questions? Okay. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Uh, good night, teacher. Good evening. Uh, 
in the last picture, uh, la anterior. This one? No, la presentación anterior, this. Uh, okay. The ultimate, which does do you like better, this or those? Uh, Aquí le quiero hacer una pregunta. Eh, why not use the word more eh, en vez de better, more, for better? Mm, una pregunta un poco difícil de contestar. La respuesta es porque así es la expresión. <laughs> That's the answer. Okay. No hay una regla gramatical en realidad que nos diga. Se utiliza en el caso de, de, de expresar eh, preferencias better en lugar de more. Okay. Siempre que usted expresa que algo le gusta más que otra cosa, utilice el comparativo better. Siempre, siempre. Uh -huh. A veces hay unas cosas en el idioma que simplemente no tienen respuesta y esto pasa en todos los idiomas porque cuando nosotros comparamos un idioma con el otro, ahí es donde nos damos cuenta que son ligeramente diferentes. Por ejemplo, en español uno diría, ¿cuáles zapatos le gustan más? ¿Verdad? Pero en inglés no decimos, which shoes do you like more? Sino, which shoes do you like better? Ahora, si fuese el caso contrario y viniera alguien que ha, habla desde su infancia el inglés y está aprendiendo el español, probablemente tendrían la pregunta opuesta y dirían, ¿por qué no puedo decir cuáles zapatos me gustan mejor? Y hay que decir cuáles zapatos me gustan más. La respuesta es, simplemente se expresa de dos formas diferentes en los, idiom en los dos idiomas distintos. Y hay algunas preguntas que simplemente no tienen respuesta como esa. Simplemente así es. Es como que alguien le preguntara a usted, ¿por qué se puede decir conmigo pero no se puede decir sin migo? La respuesta es simplemente así es. Ok. So. Um, you're welcome. Now look, you say the one. Ok. I don't like the black jacket, but I like the brown one. No me gusta la chaqueta negra, pero me gusta la café, dice. I like the brown one. Don't buy that camera. Buy the other one. Compra la otra. Okay, when you say one, you mean the camera. A, N, and one. This cup is dirty. Can I have a clean one? Antes de continuar, le voy a mandar esto, porque si no se me va a olvidar. Voy a mandar las capturas ahorita. Give me a moment. Right now I'm sending this via WhatsApp. So, what's up, what's up, what's up? Pre-intermediate one. Okay. First one goes here. Uy, no salió bien eso. Extraño. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Pre-intermediate one. Okay, also this one right here. Also this one right here. Just a moment. And also this one right here. If you check your WhatsApp group, okay, I am sending the information, the extra information. Okay, we see. Let's continue. You have A and N plus one. You say, this cup is dirty. Can I have a clean one? Me presta... O puede darme uno limpio, una taza limpia, una limpia. So that cookie was good. I'm going to eat another one. Otra, okay? I'm going to eat another one. En vez de decir another cookie, decimos another one. The ones, this is plural. I don't like the red shoes, but I like the green ones. Me gustan los verdes. Okay, don't buy those apples. Buy the other ones. Compra las otras. Some and ones. These cups are dirty. Can we have some clean ones? Pueden dar unas limpias, okay? My shoes are very old. I'm going to buy some new ones. Voy a comprar unos nuevos, okay? 
So again, you use one instead of jacket, you use one instead of camera, you use one instead of cup, one instead of cookie, once instead of shoes, once instead of apples, once instead of cups, and once instead of shoes. That's how it goes. And now we're going to do this exercise, which is the knowledge check 3.4. Give me a moment. I thought I had somewhere else, something else here. Mm, okay. All right, take a look. Complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. For example, they say, excuse me, how much are those jeans? ¿Por qué dice those jeans? Si ustedes se fijan, ella está un poquito lejos, le está preguntando a quien atiende. No está tocando los jeans, no están a su alcance, por lo tanto, those jeans. How much are those jeans? What about B? Who can tell me? Idalia Margarita. Which one? Which one or which ones? Once. Once. Once, plural, right? Mm -hmm. Because jeans yeah. is a plural now. So you say, ah, perdón. Aquí esta parte porque aquí se ve muy feo. Okay, so excuse me, how much are those jeans? Which ones? Do you mean, raise your hand, please. What do we have? ¿Qué tenemos acá? Cuando le dice, do you mean, es, se refiere a... Hmm? So, which ones? Do you mean... Mm -hmm. ¿Alguna idea de cómo completar esto? Ok, Luis Alfredo, and then nada, Verónica. Um, do you mean, do you mean this or do you mean that? <laughs> I <Okay>. have those. <laughs> Solamente puede ser una. <laughs> do you mean, eh, se ve como que los está tocando, do you mean así this? Así es, así es, están a su alcance, ¿verdad? Dice, do you mean <laughs> these? O puede decir para describirlos, the dark blue ones, ok, los, az los azul oscuro, pero lo más natural sería this. Do you mean this? Se refiere a estos. Por ser plural. ser plural. It's plural, exactly, because jeans is a plural noun, correct. Ok. Precio, dice José Ezequiel. No, no entiendo la pregunta. Ok. Uh, and what about letter A? She says, no, the light blue. Stephanie Brenda Lee and then Maria Magdalena. Um, yeah, no, the right blue jeans. Okay, good. But you don't want to repeat the word jeans. Mm. So, en vez de decir jeans, ¿qué podemos ocupar? Yeah. Okay, the light blue ones. Okay. Uh -huh, the light blue ones. Okay. Maria Magdalena. Oh. These are. These are $59.95. Or you can say they are also $59.95. Correct. Almost $60. Are you kidding? Okay. So. Almost $60, are you kidding? We have a chat entry right here. Jennifer Nuset. Okay. Vamos a tomar su asistencia entonces. Jennifer Nuset. Okay. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. Okay, the next one. Well, let's read the conversation. Excuse me, she says. How much are those jeans? And 
the saleswoman says, which ones do you mean these? And the customer says, no, the light blue ones. She says, oh, these are $59.95. And she says, almost $60. Are you kidding? What about the second conversation? Complete the conversation here. Hmm? I like. Idalia Margarita and then Ara, Ada Veronica. I like that backpack over there. I like that backpack over there. That is correct. Thank you, Idalia. And then Ada Veronica, what about B? What does B say? Ah, sorry. Aquí falta. How much? How much is it? How much is it? Okay. Uh, thank you, Idalia. Okay. How much is it? Ada Veronica, the next one, letter B. Which... Red. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Which which one? Which one? Okay, uh -huh. that's correct. Which one? Cual? 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 What song? Which one? Okay, Marina Maya de Mata. The red one. The red one. Okay, that means the red backpack. Okay, uh, the next one, please, volunteer. Volunteer, please. Mm -hmm. Who can help us? Fíjese bien quién, es, quién está diciendo. Okay, Marina. Yo. What about the next uh, one? Next one. It's twenty-seven forty-nine, but. But one green. Mm -mm. This time you need a demonstrative. A little different. Juan Antonio Brand and then Isaac Adbonay. Dale, okay. dale. It is. It is a uh, twenty-seven point forty-nine or twenty-seven but... forty-nine. Oh, okay, twenty-seven forty-nine, but. This green one is only 22, 25. This, this green one, because it's right behind her. Okay, so this green one or the green one is only 22, 25. And the man says, okay, let me see it, please. So the conversation goes like this. I like that backpack over there. How much is it? <coughs> yes. Which one? He says, the red one. She says it's twenty-seven forty-nine, but this green one is only twenty-two twenty-five. And he says, "Okay, let me see it, please." Déjeme ver, por favor. That's the exercise right there. So, what are we going to do? Take a look. Choose. Sorry, this is an extra. Exercise. Choose the correct sentences to complete this conversation. Sam says, look at those pants, Rebecca. And Rebecca says, which ones? Okay. Siempre el micrófono cuando nuestra participación haya concluido, desactivemos. Okay. Rebecca says, which ones? ¿Cuáles? And Sam says, the light blue ones over there. They're nice. Now, what expression can you use to continue the conversation? Jennifer Nusset, and then before, Marina Amaya. Mm -hmm. Before, well, I like it, but it's expensive. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. I'm sorry, but no, it's a different one. But thank you for your participation. Marina Amaya. 
Yes, but I don't really like light blue. Uh -huh. Yes, but I don't really like light blue. Thank you very much, Marina. Then we'll continue with Ada Veronica, Isaac Adbonai, and Katerina Andreina. So uh, Sam says, hmm, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. What does Rebecca say? Ada Veronica. Mm. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. Mm, not really. <laughs> Thank you. A veces, eh, una clave le voy a dar acá. Para hacer ejercicio sobre conversaciones, es bien conveniente no solamente leer lo que va antes del espacio en blanco, sino también lo que está después. Lo que está después nos puede dar la clave para saber qué es lo que va acá. Por ejemplo, si dice, this red one, ok, ¿qué será? Isaac Albonay. Which one? Which one? Correct. Ok, porque le había dicho, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. And Rebecca says, which one? Ok. And Sam says, the red one. Ok. Now, Catherine Andreina. Okay. Yeah. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. That is correct. Thank you, Catherine. Sam says, hey, let me buy it for you. It's a present. Okay, and Marjorie, what does Rebecca say? Oh, Sam, thank you very much. Oh, Sam, thank you very much. Okay, yes. All right, thank you very much. Okay, now complete these conversations with how much is, how much are, and this, that, these, and those. Remember, when you say how much is, you want to know the price. How much are is also the price, but you use how much is with singular nouns, how much are with plural nouns. For example, how much is this? Ahí lo ven que lo está agarrando con la mano. Por lo tanto, how much is this backpack? It's $31.99. What about number two? Volunteer, please. ¿Quién nos ayuda? Uh, Marina Maya. And then Catherine Andreina. Number two. Number two. How much are how much are bracelets? Nos falta el demonstrative. Hay que utilizar también this, that, these, or those. Oh, oh. So how much are? How much are those bracelets? How much are those bracelets? That is correct. Okay, they're twenty-nine dollars. Thank you, Catherine Andreina. Oh. Number three. Uh, how much? Uh, are this how much are these shoes okay how much are these shoes okay good thank you Catherine and the last one can help us with this one number four Ada Veronica how much is that this mm -mm, that is that cat how much mm -hmm. is that cat you say that's my cat and he's not for sale all right so that's my cat and he's not for sale very good thank you we're going to stop right here okay casi casi terminamos pero antes voy a pasar asistencia aquí rapidín blanca esmeralda flores ortez está por acá Blanca Esmeralda, thank you very much. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz, está por acá. Delmi Alexandra Ramos Cruz. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Thank you. Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. 
Oscar Mauricio Rivera Aguilar. Está por acá, Oscar Mauricio. Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pablo Josué Cornejo Ramírez. Pablo, are you here? Present teacher. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to stop right here. Aquí vamos a terminar la clase. Um, everybody, thank you for you. Ah, María Magdalena tiene una consulta por acá. Eh, Puede compartir la PPT anterior, por favor. Esta. Esa, sí. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Una recomendación, ¿verdad? Para todos, siempre acuérdense de ir trabajando en los ejercicios de la plataforma. Es súper importante. Traten de no atrasarse. Pueden adelantar si quieren, no hay ningún problema, pero procuren no atrasarse. Para esta semana tenemos que haber completado ya la sección número 3 y el midterm. No se esperen a que veamos el tema en clase. Adelántelo usted. Y en la clase, si a usted le surge alguna duda, consulta sobre algún ejercicio, lo podemos clarificar. Y pues también esto está para una especie de refuerzo, ¿verdad? Así que vamos adelantando el contenido en la plataforma. Ya ven que después en los grupos hay noticias, ¿verdad? Con nombre y apellido. Este, este, este y este van atrasados. Así que procuremos que no suceda eso. Y pues vamos trabajando en esos ejercicios. Everybody, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.